The two races in the Arkansas Supreme Court are for position two, which became vacant when Justice Robin Wynn passed away last year, as well as for the position of Chief Justice. The candidates running for position two are sitting Justice Courtney Hudson and Carlton Jones, a circuit court judge in the 8th South Judicial Circuit. Meanwhile, there are four candidates in what is an unusually packed race for the position of Chief Justice. Three of the candidates are currently justices in the Supreme Court, Justices Karen Baker, Barbara Webb, and Rhonda Wood. The fourth candidate, Jay Martin, a Little Rock attorney and former state legislator who once served as House Majority Leader, is the only candidate who isn't already a member of the court and has never been a judge. Martin says this gives him an edge over other candidates. Really, I'm just concerned about our country. I'm concerned about the Supreme Court. I, I like the fact that I'm an outsider. Uh, I think certainly I bring some leadership to the position that's needed, fresh eyes, uh, I think that's very important. Conversely, Martin's competitors for the role of Chief Justice are highlighting the depth of their experience as judges. I've served at all three levels. I've been a judge for 18 years, been on the court, the Supreme Court for 10 years, but I have served more in the leadership capacity than any of the other candidates, having served on 11 judicial leadership committees, led five. I have over four decades in courtrooms across the state of Arkansas in a variety of areas of the law. I've been prosecuting attorney to circuit judge to now here on the Supreme Court. I was chief judge, so I've administered other judges. Candidates identified issues with Arkansas Supreme Court that they say they are prepared to tackle as chief justice, such as the backlog of cases that built up during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's the role of the chief justice is to make sure the courts are uh, the cases aren't getting backlogged. I think we, we have some opportunities with technology. We can modernize our court system. I think the administrative offices of the court need to build a better, better bridge to the counties. Like other justices, the chief justice serves an eight-year term and their vote counts the same as any other justice. What really sets them apart is that they have administrative authority over Arkansas's entire judicial system. We have a $58 million budget. We have about 434 employees, so it's quite an administrative um, you know, heavy load in addition to the caseload. The immense responsibility is one that the candidates say they are prepared to take on. Now, all that remains is for you to choose who your next chief justice will be. In the meantime, the candidates are campaigning until the very last moment. I'll be at the polls till they close on election day, and by then, usually we're going around picking up signs. We also reached out to the office of Justice Karen Baker, but we're unable to get an interview today. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley.